the need for um, for transformation is so high because there are so many there are so many changes going on outside of organizations. So you have the the new technologies that are now kind of in a good state that you can that they really drive changes. You have like the globalization, you have the internet, you have like sustainability things, and and you have like um, new players that enter industries and disrupt the entire industries. You have platforms, you have ecosystems, and all that kind of triggers company or um, makes it necessary that companies change because if they don't change they will not survive in the long run. Companies have become kind of dinosaurs because they were successful over the last years and, and they just continued doing what they did in the past but this will not um, give, bring them success in the future so they really need to transform fundamentally in order to ensure their long-term survival. Overall, there are four elements, but there's one element that is really the key element. So obviously, everybody needs to understand why you need to transform, because otherwise your team will not transform. B, you need to make sure that you have an overall strategy that refers to how you want to do that change and how you want to make sure that you go in the right direction. And then at the end, you also need to measure the change and the results. But the one thing that is really the most important one is the how dimension. So how do you implement, how do you execute the change? So it's really not a strategy game, it's an implementation game. Although strategy is somehow important, but the real important thing is transform, um, the, the implementation. And here it's really about two things. So it's on the one hand side, the more or less hardwired things. So you need to think about the right organizational structure. You need to have the right processes in place and you need to understand the technology that you want to use and how this is going to disrupt your business. But most importantly, it's really about the soft skilled things, so soft side of the transformation. So it's about what leaders do you have in your organization? How can you make sure that you have the right leaders? How can you empower your leaders that they make sure that they target the customers? How can you make sure that you have the right people, the people that are customer centric, that focus on the users, that understand what the users want and then create the best value for the users? And then also how can you change your culture? How can you make sure that people are courageous enough to step up to to change the strategic direction, that they make sure that they uh, can fail in a kind of protected environment and to make sure that they um, really have the empowerment and the will and the possibilities to really drive the change because you need everyone for the change and not only the top managers or the CEOs. It always comes back to the same point, we need to understand, uh, we need to understand the people, so we need to focus on our people. We need to make sure that our employees are, can, can kind of leverage their whole potential. We need to make sure that we work together with them in a way that we can bring out all of their potential, their possibilities, their thoughts. Only then we can be successful. So it sounds simple, but it's so difficult because you have different hierarchies, you have different structures, you have different philosophies in organizations. You have the higher you get in the hierarchy, the more you want to kind of show that, but leadership means kind of empowering the others. And it sounds simple, but it's super difficult to really kind of master that and to implement that in the right way. Yeah, I did a huge study the last year, so I interviewed more than 100 CEOs, chief digital officers, chief transformation officers, to really get evidence. So why are some people successful with the transformation and why are other organizations not successful? And now I really did build up a nice framework, kind of a how-to guide for everyone to follow in order to be successful with the, with the business transformation. And I hope what I want to achieve is to, to see more successful transformations out there and less, less companies that die out because they do not manage the transformation. So if I can contribute a bit to that, that managers know better how to tackle the transformation, then this is everything I want to achieve.